What you thinking, Chief? Uh, thanks for asking. I don't know. I don't know. Last night I opened myself up to dating Toledo women. You clean up? <laughs> One would think. Here's why Heather's cool. There's something dangerous lurking inside of her, something edgy. I got a lock of Miles' hair, boss. And a little child shall lead them. We could stuff the ballot box so Dallas is voted queen. And then when she's on stage getting crowned, we can humiliate her by covering her in, in pig's, pig's blood. blood. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Anybody else just get goosebumps? Ha! Ah, you know Oh, I set up a Google alert so we can stay on top of Miles. Printed that out for you, boss. Oh. Ah. Well, thank you, Heather. Nice. Hey. Hey, um, you want to hit the uh, silent auction table? Yes. Again? Okay, because I think Jack probably has to tuck in his friends. <gasps> <gasps> now you, lady, punch me in the face. Wait, oh, uh, no, 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 I didn't ask her to do that. That's, that was just gravy. <laughs> Fact, two of the greatest minds on the planet, Schwank and Griffin, are teaming up. And I, Heather Marie Wilmore, will be able to help them both. We can fix this, comrade. Apologies in advance for the brutal condition of this squirrel. Didn't really have... All right, what's the story here? This thing's beautiful. Organs all intact. Professionally butchered. Ah. I stole it from my dad's shop, boss. Guys, gotta say, I got a really good feeling about this one. Can I get a get some? Get some! That's my girl. So did you get some? Did I get some? Oh my god. Heather, thank you for asking, but no, I did not get any. You know, the obvious way to a single mom's heart is through her child. You should have shown Colin some love. Yeah. She would have popped off on you, boss. I guess I should mention the no-brainer of the week. I was uh, named one of Toledo's top 100 bachelors. <laughs> Duh. Mr. Schwank, what'd you think? Hey, Jack. I gotta tell you, I am very impressed. Very impressed. In fact, I think you've invented a whole new genre of literature. And I would call it shit lit. He gets possessed by a demon lake? What the hell is a demon lake? Did an ignorant child write this? A lake isn't scary because you can just get away from it. A river. Now, a river is scary because it moves. It follows you. Oh, and then the murderer gets possessed while he's swimming? I already wrote that in my underwater demon trilogy. Why would I plagiarize myself, you ass? I'd be ruined. This is donkey crap. OK, bye-bye now. I forgot about the Underwater Demon Trilogy. I don't know why I thought my ideas were good enough. No, your ideas are good. Okay, in fact, they're too good for him. So we're keeping the book. Heather? <clears throat> if you can get Sarika into Harvard, she'll give your shiny new manuscript to her aunt, who just so happens to be one of Dean Koontz's publishers. Yes, you heard me right. Dean mother f Koontz. I punch it up a little bit. I'm sorry, Sarika, why am I just now hearing about this powerful aunt? Because you've never had anything I've wanted this much before. Then why have Heather read it? She's your favorite. It wouldn't have worked if it was Marcus or Caleb. He said no one would ever know your name. Let's prove him wrong. Let's have Schwank plagiarize Griffin. Yes, that is brilliant. It's a plagiarism time bomb. When it explodes, Schwank will be ruined and the world will know your name. <laughs> We out schwanked schwank last night. We planted passages from my book into his manuscript. So as soon as he goes to print, we'll expose him. Mr. Griffin's name will be everywhere. His books will fly off the shelves. <laughs> you stood by me, Captain. You said my ideas were good. You're my number one hero. I know that's not a yacht, but I hope it counts for something. See, Sarika, this is why Heather's my favorite. <laughs>